What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, back again. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the new Kurzweil KM88 88 key hammer action MIDI controller. This is not a sponsored video. Kurzweil did not send this to me. I bought this with my own money from Sweetwater. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is not sponsored. You're gonna get my honest, complete, you know, not that any of my other video stuff is on it, is not honest when they, when companies send this to me, but this is going to be my honest opinion about this keyboard and how I feel about it. I'm excited. I haven't seen anything from Kurzweil in years, uh, especially not anything in the MIDI controller uh, realm. So this is kind of like their first foray really into just a standalone, just MIDI MIDI controller, at least that I know of. I've never known Kurzweil to kind of do a MIDI controller, like not like this. Not like this. You know, this is straight ahead MIDI controller. So we're gonna see what it comes up. This is an unboxing, neat first reactions uh, and all of those good things like that. So let's see what we can do with it. Uh, let's see what comes with it. This, this Joker is pretty heavy. I mean, cause it's weighted action. All of that good stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah, now that's that Kurzweil color that I remember. This also comes in the box. You get uh, your USB cable, your user's manual, software package. Uh, looks like it comes with two different... Um, looks like it comes with two different... Um, um, you know, music type stands. You got the flat kind and you got the, the traditional kind of bar or maybe they kind of both go together. Uh, we'll look at that in a little bit, but that's that. Yeah, this is the Kurzweil feel and color that I remember. Uh, really, really cool kind of retro Kurzweil look. Fun fact, uh, the first keyboard review I actually ever did was of a Kurzweil um, a Kurzweil keyboard, an old like PC something, PC88, something like that. Years ago, it's somewhere on YouTube. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you where it is. Don't go looking for it because uh, it's probably unlisted wherever it is. So here it is, very minimalistic, no whole, it's got, doesn't have a whole lot of controls. You don't get a whole lot of like knobs or anything like that. You just got basic, four basic function buttons, the, you know, uh, volume knob, uh, transport controls, and a joystick instead of a, um, you know, traditional mod wheel and, and um, pitch bin, which is really, really cool. In and out, you're pretty much getting the USB, uh, you're getting MIDI out, you're getting a sustain pedal, a regular switch, and then you got an expression, uh, which is really, really cool. Power on and off button, always love when MIDI controllers have that. But let's talk about what's right in front of us, and that's the keys. How do these keys feel? Oh, ooh. You know, I haven't, this action is actually really close to that of the of the M Audio Hammer 88. It's kind of that same feel. I'd have to get it up. I'll do a comparison between the two, but I'd have to get it up in front of and both of them together and play them at the same time. Um, but it feels really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. Really, really dope uh, feel or what have you. I'm gonna hook it up in just a second and I'm just gonna kind of play something, maybe using my iPad. But this feels really, really good. It feels really, really good for what it is. what it is. Now, it is thick and it is heavy. Uh, very, very thick, thick. It's thicker than even, I think, the, uh, the M-Audio Hammer 88. The keys kind of sit up a little bit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's not as thick low of a profile. I kind of wonder what all of this thickness uh, to it really, really is. Like, is just all of the internals because there's no knobs, there's no faders. It's very simplistic uh, in this look and its feel and all of those things like that. So um, I'm not sure why they had to make it so thick and so heavy. I'm not sure if it has aftertouch. It doesn't mention it. Uh, it didn't mention it, like at least on the spec sheet. I'll, I'll figure that out after I kind of play around with it a little bit. But the joystick is cool. Now this lives in the $600 range, $599 range, so it's cheaper than uh, the Hammer 88 Pro. 
but it is also a little bit more expensive, like $100 more expensive than the regular Hammer 88, which it's kind of model after. So you can kind of take that for what it's worth in terms of budget. But let me hook it up real quick and let's play something just to kind of see how it responds uh, to playing, you know, piano or so, whatever. Really cool. So it definitely uh, will. It'll definitely power be powered by, and you can play it with the iPad plug and play. That's pretty dope. And the playability, I like the feel of it because the playability of it actually uh, is really, really nice. Uh, it's not too hard of an action like the SL88, uh, uh, Native Instruments 88. Uh, they're really, really hard action keyboards and they're fatiguing. This one, you can play this pretty much all day. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I would, I would gig with this. I would play with this. This is actually really good action. And now that I've got my fingers under it. It really feels good. And it glides across your, you can really glide. Uh, it's not too fatiguing. I could see this being a gig run or something that you can really uh, take to some gigs and play it and hammer on it. And um, we'll see what it kind of does. I'm going to do another full review, which will be a deep dive uh, into this board. Uh, and I'll maybe even use it in a production or something uh, and do some things like that to really uh, kind of dig into it. But that's my initial impressions and my initial thoughts, just getting it out the box uh, and playing around with it and seeing what it's like. I'm really impressed by it. I thought I had some some I had some preconceived thoughts because uh, Kurzweil is typically like a higher end, you know, company and, you know, they're known for, you know, being a little pricey, you know, not overly pricey, but, you know, in the upper end it's not really they, this is the first thing I've seen them do in this price range, five, six hundred bucks uh, for, for a MIDI controller. So I've, I expect it to be cheap and just something you just be kind of tacky, but I'm really impressed by this. Really, really impressed by it. So uh, check it out. There are links down in the description, affiliate links. They help out the channel. If you decide to purchase this based on this review, it's always appreciated to kind of jump down and use uh, those affiliate links. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. I hope it blessed you. I hope it gave you some insight into, you know, maybe even find this board, some things that you were looking for, some boxes you wanted to check off. Let me know down in the comments if that uh, did that for you. Uh, and the thing that you can also help me about, you can join this channel. You can become a member. We are joining uh, and we're adding new members to this channel every day. Click on the join button to get all the details on what's offered on our tier memberships. But for all of you other guys who don't want to join and all that stuff like that, what you can do, it costs you nothing. You can hit the like button. You can hit the share button. You can drop a comment down below. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.